It was a lazy summer afternoon when I first arrived there. Cramped in a 10 feet by 10 feet room, 30 divine children were napping snugly after their lunch. Some of them six months old, some eight, some six years or 12. Bangladesh, whose position in the globe is like a little dewdrop, torrented by poverty, overpopulation explosion, and twists and turns of fate, sometimes political unrest, is a seldom mentioned name in the general knowledge studies of the developed world. During the early days of my career, working 10 years with the social development organizations has dawned some strange realizations in me. In the name of human rights and development, the masked so-called noble people are busy building their own fortunes using the funds from foreign donors. These funds were allocated for changing the lives of the people left behind. In this country, the most abduction of human rights takes place in organizations who are so-called fighting for those rights. Working with children all across Bangladesh, I have seen firsthand how these children are thrown away at the end of the project. Developmental project becomes a whitewash on a torn wall, temporary, exposing the same torn wall at the end of the duration of the project. One day I suddenly decide to leave my job. 2012. Rocking in this pendulum of belief and mistrust, that afternoon I rushed into this children's home my friend had told me about. Someone's poetry was resonating in my mind. My tears are real tonight. They're warm, they're fluid, and they're genuine. Have you ever seen a pearl, my child? Maybe on your mother's neck as she embraces the dangerous night? As she hates being born, being raised? Do you feel the same way? We have never given you a decent meal, never a decent backpack or rainbow dreams. My child, you are trapped in a dark dream. You are submerged in tall nightmares. Yet you smile. Yet you want to be a butterfly. My heart is yours tonight. What is your delight, my child? One cool green lolly ice cream to make your tongue green? One big roll of pink cotton candy to wrap your dreams in? One set of big colored chalks to draw the squares for a game of Ikkatukka, your dream home? One huge LCD TV set to watch the World Cup with your friends in Dolatia. The right to be a child, the right to go to school. My child, you are innocent as a flower. Only we don't have the eyes to see you. Your smile is as fragrant as the magnolia. Only our olfactory senses are blunt today. I was a helpless poet once, a worthless singer. But you have awakened me from my century-long slumber. Now I'm ready to build a new world for you. A world where thousand stars of your dreams sparkle every night. I promise. Getting very close to them, my world starts shrinking. I don't find the courage to wake them up. I feel very naked in this 21st century attire of the so-called civil society. It is evident that all of these children were born into some brothels. In this male-dominated socio-economic coordinate of the society, their mothers were compelled to sell their bodies at some point in time 
and the child quietly grew in her womb. Ah, the sweet-sounding word mother could be uttered, even if for once. Their dads remain unknown, unseen, untouched. In these villages, the birth of a baby girl brings joy, as within eight, nine years, she can also be a source of business, and she will be pampered the same way as a cow is hormone-fed for more meat. The little boys grow up on the sidewalk of the crime world. Hajira, the name of a struggling woman who has a dark past and an indomitable courage to walk towards an enlightened future, who has taken up the responsibility of these children almost by herself. From mentally challenged Shuhag to school-going asthma, Hajira is a mom to all these 30 children. She also wants to stand by the many other children born in brothels all around Bangladesh. She calls her organization We Are For The Children. She wants to rear them with the love of a mother, the warmth. But it is extremely challenging to fight this battle with limited personal means. Such a child is named Paki, who could not be protected. Even with butterfly dreams of a bright life, she had to go back to the brothel at the age of eight. What a cruel reality. Madame Teresa had embraced million war children after the independence war of 1971 and put a blanket of love on those women tortured and raped during the war. I did not have the opportunity to meet her. In a sly glance, I saw her shadow in the eyes of Hajira.
আমার নাম শাহাদাত হোসেন রবিন আমি ক্লাস ফাইভে পড়ি আমি বড় হয়ে একদম একটি গ্যারেজের মেকানিক হতে চাই আমার নাম মোহাম্মদ শাহিদ আমি ক্লাস থ্রিতে পড়ি আমি বড় হয়ে ডাক্তার হতে চাই আমার নাম সাহিদ আমি ক্লাস তৃতীয় শ্রেণীতে পড়ি আমি বড় হলে পাইলট মানে হব আমার নাম সাহিদ আমি তৃতীয় শ্রেণীতে পড়ি আমি বড় হয়ে ডাক্তার হতে চাই All these butterflies born into darkness, will they remain in darkness?